Okay, in this video we're just going to have a look at how you can do slow motion effects or speed ramp footage in Adobe Premiere Pro. So the reason this video came about is because somebody had asked me how I was doing the effects in my uh, YouTube shorts and they're usually just me messing around with uh, the GH6 shooting in high frame rates and now just slow footage down and speed it back up. and. I just sort of said I'd come through and I'd, I'd show quickly sort of how I do it in here. So I've just got a basic clip. Um, it's slightly annoying because I turned the stabilization off by accident when I had this sort of at arm's length shooting over the top of people. So the footage is a little bit kind of shaky, which is a bit annoying. But when we slow it down, it, it will look fine. So uh, what, what I'll do is um, first I break the tracks apart. So if I uh, right click on the track and then I'll unlink the video from the audio from the get go. And then I just delete those tracks because they're blank ones for me, but you probably won't need to do that. I'll just link them back together. So I've got one audio track and the two audio tracks. And then what I'll do is if you right click on the video, you get this big menu of everything in and you can do speed and duration there, which is fine, but that's not quite what we're looking for. We're looking to sort of ease the slow motion footage and the normal footage together. So if you hover over the FX square and then we'll right click on that. And then we've got this option here called time remapping and we'll click on speed. By default, it's usually on, uh, I think it's opacity. So uh, just make sure that's on uh, speed. And then what we can do is just uh, bring this up a bit bigger. You can drag this sort of, you'll probably want to, yours might be more like that. So you can kind of drag it up and then you'll see this line here. And then that line is essentially our speed. So if we sort of say, it'd be good if we could kind of maybe slow it down here, cause that's looking like quite a good little point there to maybe slow it down. And then we'll say, as they break apart, we could speed it back up there. So we take that point and that point. And then what I'll also do, I'll just make sure I've got these bits lined up. And then I will also cut the audio um, because time remapping doesn't actually work with audio. And um, in general, usually you don't always pick up um, the sound with audio, but um, on, on the camera that I'm using, you actually do. So. Um, what I do is just just have that all kind of there, you know, you might just overlay it with another audio track or something. But once we've got these two points, so we've essentially got our in point and our out point. And then what you can do now is either drag this up and that would speed it up. So obviously the clip will be shorter or we can make it slower. And um, you'll want to do, you know, divide your frame rates down sort of appropriately. With mine, I can go down to 12 and a half, but I'll probably go to... If I say go 25 and then you can see that's increased our our sort of clips there. So then what I do is I'll just bring this back over and that will slot neatly into there. And this won't be quite perfect, but we'll sort of do it as best as possible. Put that down to uh, actually, sorry. So you go into your middle section that was slowed down and I'll bring that to about 25. And then that should pretty much fill in what's there. But then what we've got are these little handles, which we can pull apart. Just make sure you pull them apart the right way like that. And then you can see we've got this kind of curve here. And that's just where the footage is going to um, sort of do its uh, speed ramping part. So you can see it's sort of just gradually doing it. And if you click in uh, onto one of the bars, you'll see this bit is here and it's got these little uh, anchors. And if you sort of just twist them, you can make like a nice smooth line down. It's probably just a little bit too zoomed out to kind of see it. But if we come over to this one, which is here, and then we'll just pull these two bars apart like that. You can probably see it slightly better. It's still tiny, but, and then you can sort of just see that we're getting like a nice kind of ramp effect there. And then what we should get if we can play this Sorry, I've got the, the bar in the wrong place. And then if we kind of play the clip, you can kind of see we get to here and then it starts slowing it down and then we're right down to that, that kind of lowest speed. You can kind of see we're getting it just all at that. Um, so this is 25%. So this is at a quarter of the speed that it was kind of shot at. 
and generally I wouldn't make it last for this long usually for you know if it's YouTube shorts or something like that I'm only doing about 20 seconds worth of footage but once it gets to um, kind of the end of this you'll see it that will do its um, its ramp back out of it and you can make these ramps as long or short as you want you know they're kind of um, it's completely up to you you can change them after they're done and like I say, the audio, it's not always perfectly going to kind of fit. So you can, um, that bit of audio there probably needs to be slightly longer. So if we kind of made that 24%, it would break into that. And you just need to make the sound, make sure the sound kind of matches up there. But to be honest, this is just sort of car and bike noise. So I'm not too concerned about it matching up perfectly in this one. But yeah, that's sort of um, how you can go in and do it. So hopefully that's helped you know it's just quite a quick and easy tutorial on how to how to do it um, if you've got any questions uh, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to kind of answer them um, if this video's helped give the video a like if you want to see more content like this then uh, please subscribe